Hey guys. So according to YouTube, 82% of the viewers on this channel are not subscribed. So if you're viewing this video and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and then notification. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to leave a like and welcome to the channel. Check out all of my other videos. I have a lot of awesome videos. If you go into my videos and go to most go to videos and then go to sort by most popular and pull up my most popular video, ignore my first popular video. I don't know why that got 23,000 hits. I have no clue. Watch the rest of them. You know, how to get thermal paste off of CPU pins and I did a vaporizer one and I did some tools and some other really cool stuff. So that I kind of cover a lot of things. So welcome to the channel and I hope you guys stay. How to clean your keyboard. Everybody's keyboard ends up dirty like this one. You can, you can see all the hair and dog hair, rabbit hair, dust and this has just been sitting on our other desk. I mean, we haven't even been using it that well. But we need to clean it. And it is something that is definitely need to be done. Um, if you want to clean it, you definitely don't want to use that. Don't use that. You can use this alcohol. And they even make electronic wipes that you can buy to use but the first thing that you do want to do is remove the keycaps by removing the keycaps life will be so much easier to try to clean this now you can use a keycap puller or if you're very gentle and know how to do it right you can just simply pull the key out but before we do this I need to know how to put this back into order correctly so you want to take pictures of it so what you want to do before you go and do this is you want to take pictures of it okay take pictures of the keyboard layout so that way when you have all of these in a bucket you'll know exactly where to start and how to put it together because you have pictures of the keyboard that is very important to do do not make that mistake second thing you're going to need something like this so go ahead and pull off all of your keycaps and put them in a bucket once you pull them all off I'll show you what to do with these next so the best way to remove a keycap is just grab it and pull straight up with it if you grab it and pull straight up it should come right off since you have removed all of your keys from your keyboard what you need to do next is take this and go in the kitchen. There, you fill it up with water and you have instant hot water. Only takes about a couple of minutes to make. You want to take your hot water and you want to pour it in your keys. Like that. Just, just like that is you'll take you a towel. Okay, so you'll take a towel. And what you'll do is you'll take the piece after it's sat in here for a few minutes. You'll lay it and clean the sides, clean the tops, until you have a clean keycap. It's fairly dirty. So what you need is a toothbrush and some rubbing alcohol. And it's okay if the alcohol gets on the keyboard. It will not hurt it. And you just kind of want to scrub them areas. Get in there with it. You know? 
get it nice and nice and clean. Now, usually you want to pour your alcohol in a little container because your little container is going to get dirty, but you just want to get it nice and clean. Go over everything. You can use a Q-tip to uh, get down inside of some of these cracks and crevices. Some of these really small, tight spots. Um, that would definitely be a uh, something to consider. Q-tips, that's a good idea actually. Um, it looks a lot better. What do you guys think? Think it looks good? You guys like it? Make sure to drop me a like if you like it. I hope this helps you guys out. All right, so let's move on to the keycaps. The keycaps are next. Make sure you get the right ones for the right type of switch. We're using um, silicon switches. If you got mechanical, you need to see what kind of mechanical switch you got. Brown, blue, red. There's several different different spring tensions. That's the main difference between you know Cherry MX Blue and Cherry MX Brown and Cherry MX Red mechanical switches is it's just the spring is how hard do you have to press that key to get it to actuate. That's the only difference really in between all of those keys. As you can see, I have started to put it together. Um, one of the things that I did to try to help me out was put them in individual um, piles. Like these are all of the letters. These are all of the numbers. These are all of the big um, shift keys and sentence. And then letters. And then you have like the escape and home and stuff like that. Um, it's just one of the things that you can do to try to simplify it. Um, I tell you this much, if I didn't take my pictures and go off of my references, uh, I, would, I would be in a lot of trouble because I'm sitting here looking at my pictures and even with my pictures, it's, um, it's still a little difficult to do. But think guys, nice and clean. It looks great. Look at the under right there. See how clean that looks? all the way around even underneath there it looks nice and clean it looks great awesome so yes i hope you guys enjoy the video on how to clean a keyboard well i guess this is a gaming so it'd be how to clean a gaming keyboard is what it is and it came out nice compared to what it did look like from original I mean originally it it looked pretty pretty bad um, and I really didn't even use it it just kind of sat in my office forever um, but yeah that's the best way to clean it take all the keys now uh, a, one thing I would say is pay pay close attention to your pictures your pictures I can't say it anymore. If I didn't have those pictures, I would be in so much more trouble. Them pictures really saved me. And I would probably would have taken better pictures if I knew how much I actually needed it. Um, I took whole pictures of the keyboard and then I took individual um, sections of it. Like I would take a picture of just this area and um, and then you know the whole thing and stuff and then just little things like this and take another area of just here and I would uh, organize all the keys. I'd put all the numbers together, all the letters and then all the symbol keys that have symbols on them. Um, they all went into a pile so I had three piles to work with and then I would just look at my pictures and start in a corner and just work my way over down the lines um, and then I would count them you know if I had to put that D in there and it was the the third or the fourth key in I would just count one two three four and I knew that, that D had to go there so I 
But yeah, the pitchers were everything, and you need to take really good pitchers. I don't know how much I can stress that. Um, but I hope you guys liked it. Please leave me a like, subscribe to my channel, check out some of our videos. We have awesome how to do videos out there, how to take thermal paste off of CPU pins, how to get more hard drive space. Um, we do reviews on different things, all that kind of good stuff. I hope you guys like it, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like. If you leave a like, more people will see it, and then that helps us out. So if you really want to help me out, and you like my videos, and you like the channel, you will leave a like for us. That will help me out big time. So, thank you.